Oh hi. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to like chill out today and just like make like a, okay, I just wanted to, okay, sorry. Today is a, a baking video. <laughs> this is another installment of Cooking with Cass. This is a really old series. I have not done one in forever. I was not letting myself because I was like, this is cheap content and it's valueless. But then I thought, okay, wait. I just need some lighthearted, old fashioned, talking to the camera, chilling out. Today's a rest day and I'm baking a freaking loaf. A loaf. I follow so many like healthy uh, Instagram food accounts and then all day I'm just scrolling through my feed and it's just like food that I wanna eat. It's terrible. But today I'm gonna be making this thing I scrolled by. It looked so good. You guys are not gonna think it sounds very good, which is why I have not included what I'm making in the title. <laughs> I don't even wanna tell you guys what it's called. You're gonna click off immediately. Well, you know what? You did not come for this recipe. I'm just gonna tell you. It's a vegan olive oil loaf. <laughs> I know that sounds like vile. Probably just like roll your eyes at me for even like wanting that. But look, if you've ever had like olive oil cake, you know that it's just, it's good. The consistency is like soft, kind of oily. It's like really nice. I really personally like, if I see olive oil cake, I'm like really into that shit. I'm making it, screw you guys. I'm going home. I don't care about your opinions on that my food choices. I just, just don't. I'm making it and it's gonna be bomb. So yeah, let's just, enough of this. Five minutes, took me five minutes to say, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's go. Baba! I'm gonna film a YouTube video, okay? okay I'm just gonna film a YouTube video. Yeah, so can you? I have all my ingredients just set out. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to be like straight up honest with you guys. I was not a COVID baker. I was not baking during quarantine. I wasn't even cooking. I did not make bread and do any of that. I'm actually a COVID runner. I started running. Um, that, was, uh, that sounded like a flex. Wow. Um, I'm better than you is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm kidding. I did not become Chef Gordon Ramsay in COVID like the rest of us. Um, I wish I had because like Europe is reopening, but I'm over here in California going into my second round of lockdown. And um, I wish I knew how to fucking cook. Recently, I've been making like all the things I scroll past. I just make them and they um, come out terrible. They come out tasting like shit and my whole family hates it. And every time they come in and I'm cooking, they're like, please stop. And like, granted, it might be because I substitute everything for everything. Like, this is brown coconut sugar, like, it just makes everything look ugly. And I just have to make my own oat flour out of oats, you know? So it's like, these might be the reasons things aren't going my way, but I don't know what the problem is. I just know if there's a pinch of baking powder. So. I'll give it two pinches, because I don't, I don't know. How much could one little tiny pinch actually do? Pinch of cinnamon. Oh. Okay. You know what I did try to do the other day? <laughs> I tried to make these Chinese dumplings. Okay, so this is kind of like making bread. I had to straight up make bread. I went and bought yeast and it did not go well. The first one came out so good. I literally was like, oh, perfect. This is my starting point. It can only go up from here. And it only went down from there. So as you guys know, I like to work out. And or I started like losing weight in December. And I hit my technical like weight loss goal in March or February. And then I was like, hold up, I want more. And so I kept going until now. But I was like plateauing and I would go down and then I'd come back up. I don't know what was going on. But I did technically keep myself in a calorie deficit throughout all of quarantine for months and months and months. Now that we're back in the gyms, I was just like, you know what? I can always eat less and I can always run, but the gyms will not always be open. And the gyms are open right now. And I'm like, it's time to put on muscle, baby. So I am slowly increasing my calories and I'm gonna start bulking. I don't know, that sounds low-key terrifying, like... I like say I'm like Hulk Cena now, but like... I was in a deficit. I am now putting on 
body mass hopefully like if i start looking too big i'll get scared and i will stop because i'm conceited like that you know what i mean like i'm gonna be like Ugh. what i really like about i didn't even preheat the damn oven but i've been really prioritizing like focusing on what my body can do for me and not what it looks like and i love being able to punch my sister in the face and break her i love being strong and being healthy and being fit and i just want a little bit more muscle you know be able to eat a little bit more be a little bit like stronger life is just easier when you have more muscle <laughs> you just do things like carrying groceries up the stairs it's just easier but it's so scary to have been in a calorie deficit for god how many it's been like six months or something like that december january february march april may june so i've been in a calorie deficit for eight months i got used to the deficit obviously like my body decided it only needed 1600 calories so then I had to cut even more to like 1300 calories. And you just can't, like life it just isn't great when you have that low of energy all the time. So I am now bulking baby, but I am scared. I'm scared to like put on fat and like, I'm scared to, I don't know. Okay, the problem here is that my homemade oat flour is not a flour. It's like chunky. Yeah, no, that's a big problem to be honest. I kind of want to just throw this all out and do it again with like almond flour or something. That's been my problem all along is like trying to make my own oat flour. It's so like watery too. It is no way that's supposed, that's, that's completely, that's wrong. That's just wrong. Nothing about this is right. I'm starting over. Okay. Try to. You know what? I think I'm going to use coconut flour because, hold on, I really got to pee. What was I saying? What was I saying? My bladder so rudely interrupted. I can't think. I can't think what I have to be. I just want to say one thing real quick. If you are an American citizen watching this video and you are even considering voting for Kanye West, just, just, just don't. Just stop yourself right there. It's not funny. It's actually quite sad. He's not gonna win. So there's not even, not even a chance of that. But that's essentially like giving your vote to Trump. Kanye is not gonna win. And if you split the Democratic vote between Kanye and Biden, Trump will win. So don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. I really hope this comes out good because like, I am not kidding you when I tell you all of my Instagram baking recipes have, have turned out like embarrassingly bad. So bad that it's really put me off from like even entering the kitchen because I just like am inept. And the thing is like, I'm not picky. I'll eat anything if it's got the right macros and it's good for me. Like, I'll do whatever. I just don't care. So anything that tastes remotely sweet, I'm like, Frick yeah. But then it got to a point where it was like actually really, really bad. Even to me, I was like, this is just not worth eating. I don't want my name anywhere near this. So, you know, I'm back again. I'm gonna pull through, I'm finished. Okay, if I like mess up again, my family is just not gonna let me in the kitchen. Oh, whoops. Secret ingredient, I mean main ingredient. You know what else I tried to do? I tried to make my own recipes. Like, I'm gonna make the literal lowest calorie dessert possible. This shit didn't work out. Oh, like a pinch of almond flour. I got some baking soda, I need some salt. Like four chocolate chips, my God. Oh, this is already, this is already so much better. Yeah, that looks a lot more like a consistency that is edible. Well, it did. Now it's getting um, flowery. Do you guys think this is too like powdery? I think it is. Or like an egg or something. Am I missing an ingredient? Well, it's a smooth, uniform batter. Yeah, that is so annoying. How annoying can you get? All right, you know what? I'm putting, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of everything in. That's about two tablespoons, I would say. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. So my battery's gonna die, but this looks a lot better, I think, in my personal professional opinion. Do I think this is gonna go well? Absolutely not, no. Um, and that's just based on history and the fact that I just added willy-nilly more ingredients as if I know anything about what I'm doing. But I'm hopeful. I will check back in with you when this bad boy is done. Um, just real quick. <laughs> It's for my last baking creation. Oh. Monty, no, honey. <laughs> They're supposed to be K. 
carrot cake cookies. The they have chocolate chips as well as raisins. So if ever you had trust issues. Still got about 15 minutes waiting on that. Woof. I just had dinner. It's time to try our creation. Topping and it actually is bomb. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. And here we go. It's not quite thick enough, I feel like. Bring British bake off is my entry. Alrighty then. Oh my god. Okay, hello. Oh, okay. That's. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Here we go. This is the final. <laughs> Focus on the masterpiece. Oh. Amazing. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Cheers. I like it, but it's not great. Oh, it's drying out my mouth. I think I used way too much coconut flour. It tastes like I did not drink it. It's very, um moist yeah it leaves my mouth dry she is dense okay look at this it's like play-doh don't worry about trying it Fuck this. i'm probably gonna just toss it right anyways i mean it's just not look you have to stop expecting every single youtube video is gonna be a win or maybe it's just me i don't care though that's the thing I'm content. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll see you in the What? Did you make brownies? How rude. Look at that. That's honestly so rude. I'm just kidding. I actually throw my, throw my shit. I had a glass of wine with dinner and killed the few remaining brain cells I had. But anyways, um, yeah, I threw that loaf out. And I wasn't gonna tell you guys because I'm embarrassed and um, I technically wasted so many ingredients. I made two loaves essentially, I threw them both away. Don't try that at home. I'm not even gonna tell you the recipe. I'm sure it works. Just, I didn't, I didn't do so well. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be, now, now the video's over. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay, bye.